six. At a snow-covered launch pad in Kazakhstan, the Soyuz rocket blasts off in a crucial step to restoring faith in Russian technology. Lift off, lift off of the Soyuz TMA-22 with Dan Burbank, Anton Shakotkarov, and Anatoly Venetian as they head toward the International Space Station due for your rendezvous and docking on Tuesday. On board, two Russians and one American. It's the first launch in several months after a series of mishaps forced Russia to suspend its space program. In August, a similar unmanned rocket carrying cargo crashed soon after launch. And in another embarrassing case, a multi-million dollar satellite was put off course. The situation has threatened the future of the International Space Station, a $100 billion investment by 16 nations. Since NASA scrapped its shuttle program earlier this year, Russia now plays a key role in shipping supplies. It's a new era because we're now seeing the first crew to go to the space station that won't have the space shuttle to help. The space shuttle was such an enormous part of building the space station and now we're seeing a new era where Russians are really having to be the only way we can get up there. It'll take two days for the astronauts to meet up with the existing crew members on the space station and when they do this is the spectacular view they can expect. This time-lapse video made of photographs from the space station shows the Aurora Australis south of Australia and pulsing electrical storms over Asia. It's not bad being on top of the world. Jason Om, ABC News.